So a few months back, I did make a post 9th anniversary hardest fights tier list ranking. That is mouthful. And what this tier list was is, as you expect, me ranking all the new 9th anniversary difficult content. And man, there is a lot of difficult content that came out during the 9th anniversary again. We got the movies Boss Rush. We ended up getting the 8th anniversary battle. We got the Supreme Battle Spectacle. We got, you know, extra stages of the movies uh, Red Zone, the Golden Fruits and the Beerus fight, specifically in JP. Um... We got the Cell Max Stage 2, and there's just a lot of fights that happened during the 9th anniversary that was just incredible. I mean, look at all these fights. We also got the uh, Movie Memorial Battle. Where is that at? The Movie Memorial? That's somewhere here. Uh, this is one that I think a lot of people forgot about, that Movie's Memorial fight. It's somewhere in here. Um, but for some reason, I can't find out what's right here. Uh, this fight right here with the Broly, Gogeta, the Gammas, and the Gohan Epic Lug. This fight is also very difficult. Like, there's a lot of pretty tough fight 9th anniversary fights. And uh, this is where the tier list ended last time. Um, obviously, you can see there's four new fights down here. And the reason why I'm doing an update to this tier list is because, one, we got this Ultimate Red Zone Majin Buu Saga, which I feel like, you know, some of these fights are on par with some of the... Uh, more difficult Majin Buu Saga fights in certain situations, right? I mean, especially the, the Kid Buu fight. I think a lot of people are really like, oh, wow, this fight is, like, really difficult. Um, but another thing is that I feel like until Tanabata, like, probably, like, the end of July, there probably isn't going to be, like, a, another fight that's going to be on this tier. And even then, it's probably going to be maybe even one or two fights, maybe. And then by the end of Worldwide Celebrations, when I'll make an update to this. So, you know, I might as well include this here. Well, this is like, I think, fresh in my brain. And I'm like still feeling the effects of what these bosses are at their, you know, newest released toughest stages. Um, and then, you know, later on, we could revise like, okay. Again, would I change anything here? In terms of these fights at the top, this is Supreme Battle Spectacle, Blue Gogeta, Beast Gohan, and the Sword of Hope Trunks fight, the last um, few fights in the Supreme Battle Spectacle fight stages. Um, we have Cell Max boss event as well. I think that fight is also like in contention. Like these are the hardest fights in the game. I think people don't really talk about the Sword of Hope Trunks fight as much anymore, but this fight. It's still quite difficult with the locking in the third phase and then, you know, the super attack that always hits you instantly for like three mil or something like that. It's kind of crazy. Uh, I don't think it's exactly three mil, but it's a very hard. Is it, is it three mil actually, dude? It's like, it's like crazy. Uh, people don't, again, don't really talk about this trunks fight anymore, but um, yeah, it is a three mil damage super attack that guaranteed stuns you and he's hitting you for like 1.5 mil damage normals after he supers. It's, it's very crazy. Uh, this guy can be a tack lord. I think is the only thing, but like, it, it's he hits you so hard instantly before you can even do anything to him um this trunks fight's difficult man and then this is the like beers red zone this is the i think this is the movie memorial beast gohan this is the movie memorial gammas this is the movie memorial broly the movie bosses red zone the memorial gogeta this is the eighth anniversary um battle actually the eighth anniversary fights right here like, just, again, refreshing you guys. Like, this 8th anniversary fight is a little difficult. But, um, yeah, then from here, it's, like, Supreme Battle Spectacle for these um, three right here. Omega, Fusion Zamasu, Supreme Battle Spectacle, uh, Vegeta, Slash Goku. We have the God Goku and Golden Freezer Red Zone all down here. So, that's just, again, to refresh you guys on, you know, where everything is and how difficult everything is. Just in terms of relevancy. But from here, we're going to go ahead and talk about the brand new fights that came out. We're going to go down by each fight, talk about the stats, and talk about where I would place these fights in comparison to the other hardest fights in the game. So these fights are interesting in the fact that they have new mechanics, right? So, I mean, we could take a look here. Uh, this Yamu right here deals 10% of the enemy's max HP as damage each turn. You can't be KO to this, but he takes hp from you uh just at the start of turn 10 percent so a fixed amount of damage right there which is really interesting uh yeah Cohen right here is with each turn pass he gets higher stats after receiving a key blast super he receives higher stats this unit here increases their stat by 50 percent right right here which is really interesting uh this pui pui we see 
this Debora gets extra stats with an ally. He gets extra stats with each turn pass. He stuns. Uh, this Bobbity lowers your defense. He has a chance to change all the key spheres, which could be annoying. This character just makes uh, sweet tweets, right? But um, that's not really a new mechanic, or neither is the key sphere changing. But it's like all these extra stats that these guys get, which make them interesting. Now, this is definitely, I would say, a longer fight because this is, I believe, four phases, right? There's the phase one right here, phase two, phase three, and then phase four with the Bobbity Majibu. And I think a lot of Goba players really probably, like, enjoy this fight, to be honest, just because it's a fight that lasts longer and you're able to, like, test out a lot of these extra characters in that fight. And it's a moderately difficult fight. Again, Bobbity and Boo, they hit for about 1.5 mil on their super attack. Um, that five cooldown, they hit for about, what? But 750k normals which is probably the hardest hitting normal tax on global potentially now at this point right uh because a lot of these normal attacks i think fusions of masu post super i think he hits harder on his normals but um these guys are like the second hardest hitting normals probably in global um and then there's all these mechanics that could like really dress strap to and be annoying but i would say in terms of this fight, like comparing it to Fusions of Masu, I'm sure many of you guys would agree. I wouldn't even say this fight is as difficult as Fusions of Masu. Um, but would I say this fight is more difficult than Omega? I would probably say so. Because the thing about Fusions of Masu is that, like, I would not say Fusions of Masu is on these tier bosses. I think these bosses are definitely harder. But, like, okay, Omega, could you argue to move Omega down? I don't think so. I think this fight is like right in here with these groups right here, um, which, you know, it is still a relatively difficult fight with all these mechanics. But I don't know. I might I might move it down here. Honestly, I think this seems more fair, to be honest. Maybe this is like the hardest fight in this B tier. But I don't think this fight was anything crazy. I think, you know, some of the mechanics could catch you off guard. But these characters don't necessarily hit too hard. There's some time to build up. And at the end, I don't think the boss is like super mega crazy to where you're like, oh, you know, um, I build up. But this guy is like super tough. Like, you know, like some of these other fights, I feel like they're still like extremely difficult once you fully build up with your characters. But this is not really a fight like that, which makes sense because it's the first phase of Red Zone. But I would still say it's like a more difficult fight than the god goku fight um i would probably say this fight you could argue is like i, I think you like the golden frieza kind of tier which is not an easy fight but not a difficult fight you know what i mean um is where i would probably put this first phase against the Bobby's forces next we have super boo now this fight could be really annoying because of the fact that there's this aoe here and then with the super boo with each turn passes he does actually get some extra attack i don't actually i didn't ask for the exact stats i asked for the super boo um not the super boo the kid boo stats but i didn't actually ask for the exact exact stats of this super boo fight now again this one is a little annoying just because of the fact that um obviously like the aoe immense damage to all enemies 1.4 mil damage right there um 500k normals and then with attack six percent with each turn pass i mean i could probably bring up um hold up give me one second here so i just open up a calculator real quick so he's at again 520k right here so we do six percent um so with each turn that passes this guy's getting basically 30k huh about, about 30k or so right uh, in terms of his attack stat that raises up there which that's also added to the super attack which i wouldn't say makes the super attack hit mega hard but you know with a couple of turns that passes that that could add a little bit of extra damage that could do a lot of chip damage to your characters um along with that like this first phase does lower your defense by 40 percent he's str so it's not like there's necessarily type coverage but uh 1.2 mil with the 40 percent defense debuff is definitely not like weak i'm not gonna say it's like again mega mega powerful but that 40 percent defense debuff could definitely hurt a lot of different characters and it could weaken some of those characters before you go and your throat's thrown into an aoe phase um now the thing about this fight is that you want to obviously use different characters that you know 
don't need a super attack first ideally um there are a lot of characters that are released to kind of combat this like tech ultimate gohan really destroys this phase but um i would say this fight is pretty difficult uh all in all because of this aoe right here i mean with the full build up this guy arguably i mean he would be hitting over a million damage on his normals but that's a lot of turns to have to pass by i guess the annoying thing about this guy is that he could change key spheres to sweet tweets which you know could really delay you from doing that but besides that i don't really find like this fight to be breaking into like mega ninth anniversary tier again i talked with people and a lot of people would say like i would probably put this fight like around here like this level with like fusion zamasu uh ui goku blue Luch, which which you know these are ninth anniversary to your fights right uh but not into like the higher echelon just because you know this guy has the potential to do like super mega damage but it'll take him some time to actually reach that um that level now the, again this could be very devastating though it depends on the characters you're running but i would argue you know you do have time to build up to this and i feel like there's more characters that will be able to handle even nullifying like key blast super attacks than handling a turn one aoe that's just hitting you for 500k with the fusion zamasu fight um probably right uh, which is really funny is that fusion zamasu fight was designed very tough and it's like super boost fight is like in that level of difficulty i would say just for my personal experience but this first phase you know if you're able to like eat it through the type advantage character like it can be very easy you could also blitz this super boost fight 75 mil hp with 66 percent damage reduction 60 mil hp with 64 percent reduction like this fight doesn't have like that much hp like fusion zamasu is a boss that we were able to like um like very easily you could like one or two turn the end phase at this point and that fusion zamasu fine where is this red zone i mean we could see that he has i believe more uh overall stats at least in this phase not really yeah okay well 50 mo hp with 67 percent reduction he is not as strong as like this first phase here um but like 75 mo hp 66 percent reduction like this guy this guy's probably a little tougher well he has more defense hmm, it's pretty close right to be fair hmm, okay okay maybe maybe i was downplaying this boo a little in terms of how tanky he could be but i'm sure i think that there are a lot of teams that could like just melt through this boo because he's not as tanky as some of these again ninth anniversary characters that have a million hp or many many more phases or higher damage reduction or things like that right um but he does heal a little so i guess that counts for something i would say i'm gonna put him here i think this a tier is perfectly fine in my personal opinion now next we have the stage three against the different majin buu forms here now this guy is a longer fight and i find him to be very annoying in some of these certain phases so like for example uh this guy seals you guaranteed so it could really hurt like stacking characters in this fight you know you could argue that it would be nice to bring stacking characters doesn't really hit too hard or do a lot of damage nor is he like super mega tanky but he does deal a fixed amount of damage to you every turn this guy also deals a fixed amount of damage to you now i i would say this phase is actually super annoying um as well because 120k hp that you lose every turn unless you're running the majin Buu team like you could actually really feel this even with like the some of the stronger teams in the game you could feel this right because it's just a fixed damage he's doing doesn't matter how tanky your beast gohan is you're still taking 120k damage each turn and um again this guy like 90 mil hp 70 percent reduction it's not bad like you know the defense that doesn't really matter too much especially for critting but um this is like relatively on um, closer to being a tankier boss if anything right like 70 mil hp isn't too crazy but 90 mil is, a, is quite a bit and then you have all these other phases you have to go through uh 1.5 mil like the super attack itself doesn't really hit too hard but um i feel like the fixed damage is the annoying thing then you go to this fight right here 1.4 mil it's not like again as hard hitting doesn't deal as much damage to start of turn 
but he does have a lock. The lock could catch some characters off guard, so you have to be careful about how you place your characters, I think, the turns before, especially in this phase. Um, and then these last two phases honestly aren't really too difficult. I think this guy especially, it's like a thing where you could like just instantly like destroy this guy because he has like no HP. He has very little damage reduction, but he hits the hardest, right? This guy is hitting uh, for about like probably 2.1 mil-ish, like kind of damage on a super attack once he gets the attack raise. With the attack raise here, he's probably hitting for like 800k normals. Then he does get this small little extra attack boost as well, which you're not really going to see that build up at all. I mean, this is kind of funny. It's like a 10 turn build up, but this guy is going to be finished off in literally like one turn. So it doesn't even matter. But um, he can hit you relatively hard, I would say, for the most part, um, is what this guy is able to do. So you do want to kind of be careful around him a little bit don't let your guard down per se but um it's it's this thing where you could just like instantly finish this off guy out before you can even super attack him this phase is like the stun the damage sure but this phase is not really a big deal at all this is definitely the weakest phase in this fight um but what i say this fight is harder than the super boo fight even i don't know i feel like this fight has a lot more annoyances to it and it's really the fixed damage that could be annoying. But again, I'm going to say this fight's here. You could probably argue that Super Boo fight is harder just because that AoE could be very annoying to a lot of different characters. And I feel like there's more options in this Buhan, like this different Boo phases fight. I think this guy could have hit for 2 mil. Honestly, you could, it could have made this guy hit for 2 mil. I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. I think this guy didn't really need to hit any harder. I mean, they can make this 100k or like 90k or something like that. I think they can, they can increase the damage that you would receive here. Um, this guy probably could have hit hard on his normals. Or maybe he could have been like greatly raises his attack for the turn once he supers. Give him like 600k normals. Then this would hit for like what? 1.8 mil. This would hit for like 800k normals or so. And then it's like, okay, you know, um, that'd be fine, right? I think that that'd be that'd be cool. Well, he hit for 900k normals actually, which I think you know would be fine. But um, this guy's not even hitting as hard as Fusion Zamasu, and even though you have the fixed dam the damage that you take, which definitely doesn't matter. Um, I don't think it's gonna be something where I'm like, yeah, this this just makes this guy harder than Fusion Zamasu, you know? Like, yeah, I think this guy is like you know kind of a gatekeeper between are you a true mega difficult ninth anniversary boss or not that's why i bring him all up a lot because he's relative to these characters especially or these fights right uh but now we have the final fight here this is against the kid boo phase and i didn't mean to close that but i accidentally closed it. you know it's fine well let's go to the global version just because the global version actually does have the uh translated part of it anyways there so let's bring up the kid boo fight here on global so this fight's interesting and how it works is you could actually one turn this phase this agl phase right here again very certain team builds could actually do it like the double super saiyan 3 angel goku that just came out run him agl dragon dress goku you could run agl ui goku super, uh easy a there's a lot of characters that could do, do a lot of burst damage and then you could just like defeat this character in the first phase right and what he does is he does 20 actions the last thing he does will always be a super attack at the last of the second turn and if you don't beat him by the second turn you go into the last phase here but again this guy i would say again is a relatively tanky boss 75 percent reduction with 90 mo hp second phase 90 mo hp with 70 percent reduction Defense stats, pretty decent, I guess. You know, again, doesn't... I don't, I don't believe the defense stats matter too much because, I mean, I feel like the thing is that if your characters are going to be critting, then the defense stat is zero anyways. And I think a lot of characters nowadays do crit. Um, The planet burst, you know, for like a... A super attack that hits you turn two for 2.27... uh, 2.2 mil damage, basically. Or close to 2.3 mil damage, even. I think it's pretty tough. The normals turn one 650k. I think that's the hardest hitting turn one normals. Like, is that besides Cell Max? Um, which is kind of crazy. You go from 650k to uh, what's it called? One mil. But correct me if I'm wrong, if those are not like that's the harding hit hardest hitting turn one normals. 
maybe one of these two guys uh, hit harder in the normal turn one, but this, this is one of the hardest hitting turn one normals, right? 650k, especially in global. I think on global, this is definitely the hardest hitting turn one normals. Um, and then 2.2 mil, like in this first phase, is kind of crazy, right? A lot of characters could take a lot of damage for that. And if you, again, don't defeat the Kid Buu in the first phase, which again, there, there's, there's team builds that could do it. But I'm not going to really count it too much. I feel like it's going to be more on the rare end. Can I click on the boss, actually? Oh, we can see the boss, right? But I feel like it's going to be more on the rare end that that's going to happen compared to, like, um, not seeing this final phase because you defeat it, right? Like, it's, it's just not really going to be too often you see that. Um, now, this Kid Buu phase is very nasty. It's a very, very nasty fight. You could feel the difficulty here. I think a big thing is that this guy nullifies damage from unarmed super attacks. And very recently, we've been getting a lot of characters that do unarmed super attacks, right? Uh, we see Ultimate Gohan, his active skill, for example, is an unarmed super. So Kid Buu could also nullify active skills, right? Uh, let's say, I believe... Tech Ultimate Gohan, I think when he's transformed, he has an other super attack, right? So I think he's okay. No, see, his transformed is a uh, unarmed super attack. This new Super Saiyan 3 Goku, his super attacks, you know, where his, at the major crux of his damage comes from, he's doing like four super attacks a turn, like 10 plus mil with like 80% crit chance. Like this guy, he can't actually do damage because it's an unarmed super. We could take a look at some of the other characters that released again recently. Let me like bring it out here uh let's say i i don't know i don't remember if topo i think topo does others no i mean topo he does an unarmed super attack uh before he transforms that's one okay like we've been getting a lot of these characters i think vegeta does he not do he does other okay i thought his base would be unarmed but never mind but beast gohan i know his 12 key is an unarmed super attack i think one of gogeta's yeah, his 12 key is an unarmed super attack. I think Broly right here, we can see his 12 key unarmed super attack when he's transforms. I think both of them are other. Okay, this one's a key blast, but this one's an other, right? Um, but like a lot of these characters that come out do do unarmed supers. We see the gammas. Uh, 12 key super does do unarmed super attack right there uh, for like all the different phases, right? So like even a lot of these ninth anniversary characters that I bring up, you know, do do super attacks that can be nullified. I think Vegito does not actually, which is interesting. Okay. That's good for Vegito. I don't think their counters would count. So Vegito could potentially be a good character here, but uh, the, uh, anniversary characters here, 12 keys, both of them, and they do additionals or unarmed super attacks. So you guys get the point, right? You know, a lot of characters recently have been doing unarmed super attacks, a lot of the best characters in the game. And um, the thing about this kid is that with each attack he receives, he gets 5% attack. Now that builds up to about 150% attack. So how many attacks is that that you have to do in total? Um, that is 30 attacks, right? That you have to do in total, right? Because obviously... 10 attacks we get you to 50 percent so with that 30 attacks but i mean again there's characters that could do like five attacks a turn now at this point right um i don't think well i don't think it's too common you'll see this kid be fully built up unless you're bringing a lot of these characters that do do unarmed super attacks and all these super attacks are getting nullified um 630k and then 1.7 mil by itself is not really too tough but this guy has a 20% chance of super. Uh, it would be more common that he supers in slot one, which could be really annoying, especially if it's, you know, before you're able to do anything. This guy just could instantly super attack you, raises attack for the turn. This attack raise will allow him to get to like what? Close to 900k attack, right? About like 850 or so. And that's not even considering any of this raise. Like once he gets a lot of this raise, uh, 1.7 mil will go to like 2 mil, not even considering anything. I literally have the stats right here. Actually, I, I could literally bring it up right here. So Luke right here did talk about it. 1.570 pre-super, right? These are his normals, right? When he's fully built up 2 million normals post-super attack. And the super itself would be 4.8 million damage, right? And then we see that Proton here did confirm in a group chat. Um, his attack stat would be, again, 1.575 and then fully built up 4.88 um if he gets fully built up which is not impossible to happen i would say you probably won't see him fully built up if you build your team correctly 
to not have a lot of these unarmed super attacks that will stall you and then keep you from winning but you could get this guy like built up quite a bit and you know even if you get into like a hundred percent he's still probably hitting for about like 1.2 and like like i don't know even 3.5 or something like like that excuse me just hard just like rough balling it and like this guy could also be attack lord but uh he gets you really hard like really 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 hard he's also healing each turn um this kid boo he could ramp up quite fast if you bring the wrong characters i would say this kid boo fight is how hard would i say this kid boo fights i would argue like it's up here for sure like this kid boo fight i think there's a quite a jump um from the super boo fight to this kid boo fight because he's very annoying um maybe you could if, if things mellow out and then maybe we get more characters that can counter this kid boo fight maybe he can go down to the s tier but i would say i had more difficulties with this kid boo fight than even like you know probably any of these fights down here beers could be really annoying he's a um but just like beers this guy does have the type coverage right where str well it's not really type coverage is it well no no because like you want to bring physical characters here but then like he's str so, like some of these physical characters could potentially find issues now since you know what the super attack is it might not be that bad but it, you could find issues for sure uh, if you're bringing like a lot of physical characters and one of them has to take the super attack right <laughs> That could be uh, very devastating for you because it hits very hard and it's just on that second phase. Um, yeah, I, I would probably say it's around here. I, I Maybe, again, as more time passes on, we'll get more and more knowledge room. But I have been testing this fight with a couple of different characters off camera. I've seen, you know, other gameplay videos of other characters off camera. And, like, you know, let's say this fight, like, Physical Blue Cow can go and Evolution Blue Vegeta. Even though they're a physical character, would get countered here. They're so really good for this fight because you could also lower this fight's attack. But like all these fights, you could actually lower their attack, and it's just that they, they hit so hard that it doesn't matter sometimes. So that's what I'm gonna say. Again, if you think maybe he's down here, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if he's in this tier, but I feel like I would definitely see he's in this tier. These two fights, I think they're grouped in with this Fusion's Masu here. I think, again, this final phase is here, but um. That is my take. Let me know what you guys think where you would rank all these different fights in this tier list. You know, if you would even change some of these other fights in here. Thanks for watching and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace out.